merciless sun, across the trackless desert, march the men of the Foreign Legion, unwanted men, the forsaken of a hundred nations. They came to the Legion to forget. Our story is about two men whom the Foreign Legion would like to forget. And they were unwanted, even in Brooklyn. But let us start at the beginning and the cause of it all. These two wrestlers. Listen, you, when the script says you get butted, you get butted. What a rehearsal. No emotion, no fire, no nothing. The best script I ever wrote, and you guys smell it up. Tell him he's the one I can't read. I don't have to read. I'm the wrestling champion in all North Africa. Don't you guys realize that nobody's going to pay good money just to see wrestling? You've got to dramatize it. No. You've got to suffer. You've got to... There you are. No. Get that expression of suffering. That's acting. Hold that expression, Lou. I want the boys to study it. Hold it. Okay, Lou. That's enough. Don't ham it up. Come on. Come on, get out. Hey. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I want you to show these guys how to do their parts. Uh, first of all, you'll stand in for Abdullah. Come on. Now, we'll start from the top of page five. Uh, wait a minute. Here we are. Uh, now, Bert charges in with a drop kick. Abdullah goes down, but is he hurt? No, he looks up at Bert and sneers with contempt. Now, wait a minute. Now, watch carefully. Go ahead. No, 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 Lou, come on. Don't take so long to fall down. I want Abdullah to, to get the proper timing. Come on, come on, come on. I'm awfully sorry it took me so long to fall down. All right, all right. Now, you're Bert. You're Bert. Abdullah, retaliate. <laughs> Lou, will you fall faster? You're slowing up the whole action of this script, and I'm not a bit happy about that fall. That makes two of us. You want me to do it again, Mr. Jones? No, certainly not. I don't want you to get hurt. Uh, look, take the next move. And really pour it on this time. Go ahead. No, no, no. Abdullah, can't you bounce him a little harder? We're not getting the right sound effect. That's it. Now you've got it. Get the idea, Bert. You're taking a terrific beating. Abdullah's murdering you. You can take it. Thanks. I always do my best. I'm not wearing you out, am I? No. Uh, all right, Abdullah, that's enough. I don't want you to tire yourself out. Bert, take over. That was fine, Bert. Are you tired? No. Are you tired? No. Whose turn is it? Mine. Mine. Uh, all right, we'll toss for it. Heads. <laughs> it's tails. I win. We'll do the Boston routine. The Boston routine? The Boston routine. Boston routine. I, I, why? Ah, ah, no, wait a minute. Let's do the whirlwind finale. That's the one. Hey, on. you did. Oh, ah! hey, hey, bud. Get me off this merry-go-round. Oh, get me down. Oh, that's fine. Oh. That's it. That's just what I'm looking for. What a touch. It's beautiful. You, you the victorious hero. 
And you, beaten into surrender, crawling away like a whipped dog. Abdullah's no whipped dog. I'm a great champion. I never lose. But, Abdullah, you won last week in Boston. Tomorrow night, it's Bert's turn. You know, after all, he's a big favorite in this town. Abdullah's the greatest wrestler in the world. I never lose. I'll quit first and return to my tribe. Now, wait a minute. Let's take it easy, brother. You know, you've got a signed contract with us. And remember, I borrowed five grand from the syndicate to bring you over here from Algiers. I don't care. Abdullah says goodbye. Well, what about the five grand? Say goodbye to that, too. I'm taking the first boat home. Hey, stupid. Come on, stupid. Abdullah walked out on us. We've got to get him back. We'll be in plenty of trouble if that guy blows town. What guy blows town? What'd you say? What guy blows town? How can you talk with your mouth shut? Well, Abdullah blew. Oh. What do you got to say, Josie? Well, uh, if you're talking about the five uh, grand, boss, uh, don't worry about that. I'll get it back for you. Five grand, small change. The setup we got for Abdullah's worth a hundred grand. Wouldn't want us to lose that kind of dough. But would you, Jonesy? Oh, I. I. Uh, uh, don't, don't give it a second thought, uh, Frankie. We get Abdullah back if we have to chase him around the four corners of the globe. Don't worry about a thing. Come on, Lou. I ask you a question. Go ahead. Just what are we doing here? We're looking for Abdullah. We are? Sure, he bought a ticket for Algiers. Uh, neighbor, do you know Abdullah the wrestler? The wrestler, Abdullah. The... Lou, show him a picture. Yeah. This is the way he looks undressed. That's it. And here's the way he looks dressed. Yeah. He wears the headdress of the El Manaya tribe. Oh, so you know him. Oh, no, no, no. I, I know nothing. I, I want no trouble now. Go away. Go away. Go away! Who? He is ugly. Oh, I wish we could find someone around here to give us a sensible answer. So do I. Yeah. She's beautiful. Hey, bud, I'll get some sense out of this here one. I'll ask her. But come here. Come here. What's the matter? You talk to this lady. Maybe she can oh, ask sure. her. Sure. Uh, yeah. This is mine! This is the one I... Uh, you... Yeah. Oh! Uh, do you happen to know Abdullah the wrestler? 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 These wrestlers are very strong and they, and they, they try to get a, a hold on you and, and then they put their... Um, and they... they sometimes they they, they, they... they sort of pick it up and, and on their head, you get it? And then sometimes... And then, then again they... They, they give you a headlock, right? They, 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 they. You, you don't know how to wrestle? Can I show you? You, you see, I'm your opponent. And then, then you take one arm and put it around your opponent, and you take the other arm and put it on your opponent, and then sometimes your opponent wants to give you a bear hug, and he, 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 Lou! Hmm? What's the idea, kissing? I'm not kissing anybody. What is this? What is that? Who? How did that happen? What are you trying to do? Get us killed? Oh, no. In this country, men don't get familiar with women. They don't? Certainly not. Well, don't they kiss them? No. And, and don't they go out with them? No, they don't. And don't they, uh, don't they... No, no, no. They don't? No. Boy, is that woman in the wrong country. I... Oh, will you... Maybe there's a hotel. Let's check in. Okay. Will you get out of my way? Now, you stay outside and watch for Abdullah. Abdullah? Abdullah! I'll do it. Now, you sit down there and keep your eyes open. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, just a minute. Here's a tip for carrying the bags. Put that down. Put that down. Put it back. Put that down. Ah! What 
is it? I must see Joseph at once. His Excellency, Sheikh Hamoud and Sergeant Axman are with Joseph. I have important information. Joseph? Not now, out! Why didn't you warn me, Axman, that the Legionnaires would be guarding the construction camp? Last night's attack cost me 12 men. It was worth it, Sheikh Hamoud. Uh. This morning at the Commandant's office, the railroad company engineers were raging. On this very map, they showed him that unless he can clear the desert of your raiders, they won't be able to lay the tracks from Beni Abbas to Guarla. The company will be forced to build the railroad the long way around at a cost of one million pounds. What did the Commandant say? He promised them more troops. A full company will proceed tonight from Fort Lalmont here to Beni Abbas here. Cut them off and destroy them at El Galeo. And the construction camps will be at our mercy. Well, always more attacks. What about money? If you can stop work on the railroad for another 30 days, the company will have to pay us whatever we demand. He insists his information cannot wait. There are two Americans in town looking for your cousin Abdullah. What do they want with my cousin? I, I don't know, Your Excellency. They may be spies for the railroad company. Sheikh Amwood? I suggest that you leave Algier immediately. As soon as I finish my business at the slave auction, these Americans can spoil everything. They will be taken care of, Excellency, mm -hmm. by Ivory. He never fails. I don't want anything to happen to them in the streets. Ivory is wise. We'll drag them into an alley and uh, point out the Americans, Tyler. Yes, sir. There's one of them. Go with these and find the other. This is all about. Is it because I kissed the girl? Huh? I hope not. I've never been in such trouble before in my life. And excuse me, please. I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up. What a nightmare. <laughs> Outside chasing me. But if you are found in here with the girls, you will be killed. If I find outside with the men, they'll kill me too. Me? Yeah. Oh. There are no men out there. Are you sure? Say, go look for yourself. I think I will. No, here. 
Hey, maybe they're gone. Is that bad? If they find you, they will kill you. That's bad. Mm -hmm. oh! Oh. You cannot go in there. If the guards find you with the slave girls, they will kill you. At least in there, I'll die happy. Open the door! Open the door! We'll break it down! Hey, fellas! Stand back and take a run and break the door down! Get up on your feet. That's all you want to do is rest. Oh. Now, I said get up. Mm, I told you to keep your eyes open and watch out for Abdullah, didn't I? I did. As soon as my back is turned, you go to sleep. I found three members of the El Manaya tribe. Where? I opened my eyes and here they were. Right here. Here? Did they tell you where Abdullah is? They were too busy chasing me. They chased me right into a room full of girls. Hey, never mind the girls. Tell me about the men. Oh, the girls were beautiful. Especially the one girl. Never mind. Uh, she listen, was exotic. Forget, about, she forget was... about the girls. Tell me about the men. How, what do they, they look like? They didn't appeal to me. But never the girls. The girls. Never buddy, mind the girls. I never saw such Will a you please tell me girl. about the men? Oh, the men? Yes. They were vicious. Yes. They were big. They looked like that. And one guy had a face. He had a face all over a face. With a big mustache. <laughs> like that. Yes. And they had knives. And they had little knives, too. They got another name for them. Uh, Dirks. Yeah. The whole train of them were Dirks. Back, bud. They, 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 they look like these guys. And then, and every time I took a step, they would take a step. Oh, come on. I think so. I want to go home. There's something I want to take back to America. What? Me. Oh, uh, will you stop acting like a coward? Who's acting? We can't go home. If we go home, Frankie will have us bumped off. Oh. We're safe as long as we stay here in the crowds. And now, gentlemen, lot number 36. Three slave girls. You must buy all three or none. We cannot break up the set. Yeah. Do I have a bid? I have a bid of 5,000 francs. Do I have more? Do I hear more? 10,000 francs from the Great Desert Sheik. Any other bid? Any other bid? 10,000, 10,000! So to his excellency. Slave girls. Slave girls? Mm, slave girls. Uh, the girl you take home, she cooks for you, she sews for you, she does all your washing, and she's a servant for the rest of your life. In Algiers, they call them slave girls. In America, we call them wives. I Well, no chance. They're over there. Not while I'm here, you fool. It might bring the Legionnaire. And now, lot number 37. Six beautiful girls, the prize of the auction. Prince Musa ben Mahmoud is liquidating his holdings. Just look at these gorgeous desert flowers. Do I have a bid? Hey. There's a girl I met when those guys were chasing me. We had no time to bother with her. I have a of 5, uh, hey, wait a minute. This dame setup might be just the thing to attract Abdullah. Let's look around, see if he's in the crowd. From the great desert sheep. I now have a bid of 10,000 francs. Do I hear more? Do I hear more? I now have 15,000. Any other bid? Any other bid? I now have 20,000. I now have 60,000 francs. The sheik bids 80. I have now 90, 100, 120. 125. 140,000. 160,000 francs. 160,000. Any other bid? Any other bid? 160,000! 
American bought all these slave girls. Um, hey, get a load of that guy over there. He looks mad enough to slit somebody's throat. Oh, him? Yeah. He's my pal. He was waving at me all through the auction. Then somebody said, sold American, and he stopped. He was waving at you? Mm -hmm. Yes, he was going like that. So I waved back. Why, you nitwit? You bought the girls. Let's, <laughs> let's get out of here. Come on. Uh, let me congratulate you, and you can pay me the money now. Uh, Take him out of uh, I'm sorry, neighbor, but uh, my friend changed his mind. The deal is off. Well, you can't call it off. Sheikh Hamoud bid a fortune for these girls. Can't help what he bid. But you must buy them. I can't. He just changed my mind for me. Perhaps you would let me talk to them. I may make them change their mind again. Oh, my master, wouldst thou not like six beautiful girls to serve you? Six pairs of feet to do thy running. Six pairs of hands to do thy bidding and six pair of lips to do my kiss. Now, look, lady. Excuse me. <laughs> You're beautiful. May I kiss one of your six pair of lips? No! Mm -hmm. Oh, what is this again? Who keeps putting those things in my mouth? Lady, this guy hasn't got enough dough to buy you. Quiet, slave. Do you think maybe the auctioneer, he would take, say, 75 cents down and maybe a dollar and a quarter a month? I, I mean, do you think that, that... Shut up, you stupid fool. You've ruined all my plans. For months I've been trying to enter the household of Sheikh Hamoud of the El Manaya tribe, and you outbid him. I'm sorry. I'm s sorry. Uh, I'd like to talk to that Sheik. You know, we're looking for one of the members of his tribe. Uh, Lou, uh, show her a picture of Abdullah. Come, come, I cannot wait all day for my money. Oh, uh, one moment. I must see you later. Where can I meet you? We checked into the Hotel International. I'll contact you. How are you going to get out of here? I am in no danger. I'll manage. Oh, uh, he would like to think it over. Think it over? Six beautiful girls for only 160,000 francs? 160,000? Yes, and it's a good buy. A what? A good buy. Good buy! <laughs> Legion. Hey, what kind of a country are you guys running around here? Every time my pal and I turn our back, somebody throws a knife at us. A knife? You put a knife? Put that down. Listen. That is a matter for the local gendarmerie. This is headquarters of the 1st Bataillon de la Légion étrangère. It is not. This is the Foreign Legion. That's what he said. Now listen, neighbor. 
We're not a couple of American tourists can be pushed around. Yes, we're here on business. Big business. And what is the nature of your business? <laughs> I think we're out of business. <laughs> You're relieved, Corporal. I'll handle this. Well, gentlemen? Uh, we're looking for a guy. Where does the Elmanaya tribe hang out? Well, the last Legion report, they were somewhere in this area. But I doubt very much whether you'll be able to find them. Uh, why, don't we, why don't we ask Sheik Hamoud where his tribe is? What do you know of Sheik Hamoud? What do I know of Sheik Hamoud? <laughs> Today, I outsmarted him in a deal. That was very clever of you, but also very dangerous. I'm afraid it won't be safe for you to be out in the streets. Well, how, how are we going to get out of here? Why go? It's the Legion's duty to protect you. So why not stay here until I make sure that everything's all right? Are you sure we're not crowning you? No, we take men in every day. But uh, how are we going to get out to eat? We serve you food here. Mm. Oh, boy, room and board. How much do you charge? Nothing. Nothing? Well, we sure appreciate it. Isn't there something we can do for you? Well, just a little thing, a formality. Huh. We like to keep a list of our guests. Sure. You don't mind sure. signing your name, will you? Sure. It's mighty nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and you can be sure we'll be quiet, if you know what I mean. No wild parties. <laughs> that I'm sure of. However, there are a few little rules and regulations. Raise your right hand, boys. Your right hand. I'm left-handed. Your right hand. Yes, sir. Jurez-vous solennellement de soutenir la dignité de la République française contre tous ses ennemis, vos supérieurs de la Légion étrangère. See, I do. I do. And you? I do. I do. Oh. Oh, what's the matter with you? Oh. See that? Here. Now that we're married, I do hope you make me happy. Ah, uh, shit. Cruelty. I want a divorce. Gentlemen. Yes, ma'am. What? Uh, yes, sir. That's better. Well, he's got to be one or the other. Shh. Mm. Now, gentlemen, if you'll step through that door, you'll be taken care of. Through that door? Thank you. We'll be seeing it. Every day, you just signed up for a five-year stretch in the Foreign Legion. <laughs> Do 
Climb in. I want to see how the recruits are doing. We will come along. I'm tired. Relax. Yeah. All right, on your feet, men. Hit the wire on the level. Let's go. All right, Lou, follow me. Don't worry about a thing. Come on, Lou. Okay. Over this way. Hey, bud, come on. I help you. Come on. Yeah. What kept you? Attention! You call yourself a legionnaire? You are disgraced to the sacred memories of the magnificent men of the Legion who fought and died at Barfa, Elmers, Meduna and Ratsas, not to mention Bocamonge, Meknis, Fates. You forgot to mention Azusa, Anaheim and Cucamonga? Oh. Do not despair, mon commandant. I'll make a legionnaire of him one way or the other. You're dismissed! <laughs> Attention! <laughs> You can't talk that way to a wounded soldier. What do you mean, wounded? I, I just hurt my finger on that barbed wire there. It's blood! Before I'm through with you, you'll see blood. You'll be surrounded by blood. Your machine gun will riddle your enemies until blood flows like water through a sieve. Your sabers will hack and slash the human flesh. With your trench knives, in the black of night, you will creep upon a man and rip and rip until he falls apart. And when you wade victoriously through the blood of your enemies, Glorying in the gore of battle, then he'll be a legionnaire. I can't understand it. First the attack on the railroad company's construction camp at Biskra, and now the massacre of 40 legionnaires at El Golia. Sheikh Hamoud seems to know our every move. It's obvious, sir. There must be a leak somewhere. Quite obvious, Sergeant. Thank you. But how do we stop it? Every day, Hamoud becomes more and more daring. Who knows where he'll strike next? Sergeant, investigate that gunfire. Yes, sir. Sound the alert. <laughs> You surrender. Lou! Why didn't you shut that gun off? I didn't know how. I didn't uh, know how. Uh, Corporal, how did this happen? I told him to assemble the gun. Let me tell you something. That's a dangerous thing to have in the army. Somebody could get killed. Throw these men in the guardhouse. Sergeant, you were to bring Hotchkiss and Jones to the Commandant immediately. Take them away. This will be a pleasure. In here. Oh, stop that. Mm -hmm. Mon commandant? Wait. Oui? You're the men you sent for. You are Hatchkiss and Jones? Confidentially, you can call us Bud and Lou. That's Bud, that's Lou. Sergeant. We, oui, mon commandant? Give these men a pass to go to town tonight. A pass? But I thought that... Those are orders from a source I cannot question. Yes, sir. You men be at 82 Rue Lafayette at 8 o'clock. Us? We. Oui. Oh, the three of us are gone? No, just you two. Us. We. Oui. 
Yes, that's what I said. The three of us are... Why don't you make up your mind? Are you going or aren't you going? Get out! Get out of here! Take them out of here! All right. Get up. Just so you won't forget the address, I'm writing it on the pass. 282, Rue Lafayette. That was 82. 282. The Commandant says 82. Attention! Hey! 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 Here it is, 282. I don't like the looks of this thing. You shoot up the post and they, they give us a pass. Why? I don't know. Yeah, there's something wrong. We better case this place. Bud. What? There's something very important I want to tell you. What's that? I'm going home. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shut up. State. We will not be able to dispose of the Americans if they do not appear. I've thought of that. If they are not here by ten past eight, I have ordered the military police to classify them as deserters and shoot them on sight. Deserters? That means us. We? We? Mm. Come on. Lou, we're in trouble. Where do we go from here? Let's go to the dock, get a boat and go home. MPs and they're looking for us. And if they find us, they'll shoot us on sight as deserters. Well, look, we can't make a move unless the coast is clear. I'll check up. You stay right here. Don't move. I will. So on too. That's two of them. I'm going to find out how many there are. I just saw one. I saw one too. We're surrounded. Listen, we're not going to stand here and get nabbed without putting up a fight. No. Wait right here. Yeah, always. I'm going around this building and flesh them out. If I happen to chase one around this way, boom, bang them. Right over the head. I was too busy. Somebody was chasing me. Now, you listen to me. You stay right here. I'm going to backtrack. And I'll get him. And don't forget to use that club, do you hear? Okay. I'll stay right there. Backtrack. I'll backtrack, too. That's okay. I got one of them. <laughs> hey, we're gonna fool them. Mm. You go ahead as a decoy. Then when they sneak up behind you, I'll sneak up behind them. And clunk. Simple. I have to be to do that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. me on the shoulder, and just as I, I... Hey, Lou, wait a minute. Was it you I bopped? 
Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Lou. I didn't mean it, Lou. Oh, you know I wouldn't do that to you. Here, take my club and hit me right on the head with it. Go on. I don't want to. Go on, Lou. Take my club and hit me on the head with it. I don't want to use your club. Why not? I want to use my own. I... I... <laughs> Come on, boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's the use? Come on. Wait. Oh, no, not again. Help! I've been looking all over for you. I'm sorry, lady. We can't waste our time with you. We deserve it. You can't. I need you. I am Nicole Dupre, French Intelligence. I arrange for your pass tonight. You? We. Oui. Oh, then you had somebody help you. No, no, I arranged it. That's what I said, you did. We. Oui. Yes, you had somebody help you. No, no, no. We. Oui. O-U-I means yes. Well, what does I owe you mean? No. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Why didn't you obey orders and come to 82 Rue Lafayette? 82? Sergeant Axman told us to go to 282. Axman? Yes, Axman. We saw him in a room with five Arab hoodlums. Chica Moods, man. Axman. Il est le traiteur. But I cannot take your word for it. I must have evidence. If you will help me find it, I will see that you get out of the leisure. It's a deal. Hurry, then. Search his quarters before Axman returns to the post. We. Oui. That means the two of us. We. Oui. Come on. Come on. Insane. I don't mean you're insane. No. You're cuckoo. Shh. Will you listen? Look, I'll take the bed. You take the bureau. Wait a minute. Are you positive? Positive. You want me to take the bureau? Take the bureau. Take the bureau. Take the bureau. Now hurry up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what are you doing? You told me deliberately to take the bureau. I don't mean take the bureau. Search it. Search it. Search it. Hey, Bud, what are we looking for? Something to tie up Axman with the Arabs. And if we find it, we've got him trapped. Trapped? Yes, trapped. Yes, trapped. 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 What's the matter? <laughs> oh, can't you keep out of trouble? <laughs> now, listen, I... what's wrong now? <laughs> Will you keep on searching and keep out of trouble? Hey, I think I found something. How do you know? <laughs> this paper with the Arabic writing on it. What more evidence do we need? None at all. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> hey, bud. Shh, quiet. <clears throat> I've got to decipher this thing. Oh, I'd like to see the expression on Axman's face when he finds out that this is gone. You can. You can. If he knew we had this, he'd kill both of us. Don't give him any ideas. Then all we have to do is turn it over to the girl. This is our ticket out of the Legion. Then we walk up to Axman and snap our fingers in his face just like that. Yeah. Who told you to search my quarters? Who is this girl? Answer me! Answer me! Attention! Sergeant, we just received a radio message. Fort Apar is being besieged by Arabs. Reinforcements will leave immediately under Captain Cheval. Assemble your patrol. Yes, sir. At ease. Thank you. Get up! Uh -huh. 
I beg your pardon, sir. Yes? We have some very important information for the Commandant. Yes, sir. Information that will put someone behind the firing lines. What is it? Take a candle at this, please. Three shirts, two drawers, four socks. This is an Arab laundry ticket. Idiots! About face! You two get your equipment. You're marching with the patrol. This order into the desert is most convenient. Do you mind if I say one word? No. Two thousand two hundred twelve, two thousand two hundred thirteen, two thousand two hundred fourteen. I don't get it. They march us all day, and at night we've got to guard the supplies and take care of those smelly camels. I got hip to this army life back in 1945. 45, 46, 1947, 1948. 1949. My father, he was hip to it in 1917. 1917, 1918, 1920, 1921. Well, the uncle. 21. That is a guy who was contented. He was happy. He was a rough rider in 98. 98, 99, 100. My grandfather. <laughs> he was a drummer boy in 61. 61, 62, 63, 64. Even if that girl did get our message. Our chances of getting out of here would be 100 to 1. 101, 102, 103, 104, An axeman. 5. There's a wise guy. Rings us into this outfit for five years. Five! Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'll find a way out. I'm a pretty smart cookie, too. Two, three, four, five, six. What are you doing? Seven, eight. The captain told me to check the ammunition. That doesn't mean to count each bullet. Put him back. Put him back! Now, you see, you've scared the camels. Come on, we've got to quiet them down. Seven. Hey, one of the camels are gone. I wonder which one it is. I think it's the one with the humps. It must have been Sally. She was the sweetest one of the two. Well, we've got to look for her. I ain't going out in that dark desert tonight. What was that? It ain't no camel. Oh, it's just some kind of an animal. We'll have to go out and look for Sally. Come on. Not me. I'm going to stay right on this spot. Nothing's going to move me. All right. headquarters and report the casualties and tell them how lucky I was. Yes, how lucky you were. Uh, we'll never find her. Maybe she went home to her mother. What do you mean? Well, I mean, after all, dogs go home to their mother and cats go home to their mother. And when I'm a bad boy, I go home to my mother. That's right. Why couldn't camels do the same thing? I think so. Hey. We'll follow her trail right into Algiers. Hey, that's a good idea. And then when we get to Algiers, we get down to the dock, we'll take a boat, and we'll go home. Good idea. Now, stay on your toes. What? <laughs> what's, what's the matter? Come on. Let's follow the camel tracks. Oh, watch out. Bud. 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 I can't see anything. Lo, there's no need of kidding ourselves. We're lost. Oh. If we don't find water soon, we're garbage. 
I'm not going to make myself believe that people die of thirst on a desert by not finding any water. I'm not going to make myself believe it. I won't believe it. I believe it. But this is not going to happen to me. I'm going to get some water. Some place on this desert, there must be a place to get water. Water? Yes. Have some. Thank you. How will you be squad? Hey, that skeleton asked me to have a drink of water. Easy, pal. It's only a mirage. Don't crack up. We'll find our way out of here and find a patrol. Look, how long can a man go without water? I don't know. I... Water! Water! Oh. Look, we're saved! <laughs> oh. Hurry up. You hold the cup. Okay. Water in the Water. Sand. 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 Uh. Ah! Pull yourself together. Give me a towel. <laughs> Lou, men go crazy on the desert following mirages. Oh, yeah, but if you don't chase mirages, how do you know they're mirages? I mean, you can't. Look! I know. Don't tell me. I just saw a mirage. I just saw a double chocolate mirage. Don't feel bad, Lou. It could happen to anybody. It could even happen to me. Yeah. Come on. if they gave me a bad corner? X-ray, X-ray, read all the Take a paper. <laughs> I've just seen another one. Yeah. But, but are you sure you haven't seen any of them? No. Uh -huh. No, Lou. But I told you, it could happen to me, too. I ought... Look! Lou! Lou! It happened. Hey, Bonnet! You're making a fool out of yourself. There's nothing there but sand. Oh, Lou. Lou, nice cool water. Come on in. Into what? Bud, will you come out and shake the sand out of your ears? Blue, come on in. It's nice and cool. Look, all water, Blue. Nice, cool water. Look, Bud. Go like that with your hand. Go ahead. Look, Blue. Look. Oh, oh, oh. Just... He don't know that sand. You poor boy, you're cracking up. Now, Bud. Come out! Let me help you. 
Wonderful. It really was? Sure. What? What? What's that? Sing. Naturally. Now. What's that? Water. Water. Sweet. Water. Hey, Lou, when you get through playing, I'll be asleep behind the rock. Go ahead, have a good time. And it's sin. It ain't sand. This is real water. Come here, come here, come here. Come, come, Salim. You swill water like a thirsty camel. I am not drinking. I lost my false teeth. And we will lose our heads if we allow any legionaries to slip through. What? Mm. Did you hear somebody talking? Oh, nonsense. First you're seeing things, and then you're hearing things. Relax. At least we won't die of thirst. I'm slowly starving to death. So starving to death. That's just in your mind. It's imagination. You can imagine you're starving to death. You can imagine you're eating a delicious dinner. Well, you're having you're having soup. A great big juicy steak. I like spaghetti and meatballs. All right, so you've got spaghetti and meatballs, mashed potatoes, peas, pie, chicken, coffee, chicken, chicken, chicken too. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, what are you doing? Chicken. Put that down. Where are you going? I'm gonna get some water and wash it down. Yeah. <sighs> Bud! Yeah. Bud! Yes, yes, yes. Now what? Somebody was here. Yeah. Bread. Bread. Now we can have bread and water. Oh, no. There's a lot of fish in there, boy. We're going to have a nice fish dinner. Oh, come on. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you like fish, don't you? I love fish, buddy boy. Yeah. I love fish. Boy, are we going to have a feast. <sighs> Get a nice big fish now and we'll build a fire, cook it to a nice golden brown. <clears throat> hey, I got one. Oh, I got one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Get it. Get it. Look at that, baby. <laughs> Hold still now. Okay. There we are. We're gonna eat. There you are. Wash them off and clean them up. I gotta I get some more. I get this son of a gun. Take it easy. He's a take fresh it easy. Take it little son of a gun. I got another one. There you are, boy. That's the stuff. Now we're getting places. <laughs> Lou, 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 stop splashing the water. You'll frighten the fish away. Hey, hey, I got another one. Hey, yeah, boy. What a feast. Clean it up. the fish I caught. I know I got them out of there, but where are they now? Did you eat them? Where are they? Hey, don't tell me you threw them back in. Oh, no, he got them. Who got them? Some fish that went to Painless Palmer. What are you talking about? I'll show you. Like 
like that for? Hit him with a rock. Hit him with a rock. Give me a rock. rock. Help me with this big rock. Come on. I'm throw this right at him. Come on. Pick it up. You're sitting on it. What do you want me to do? Hey. Oh, don't you wish this was a mirage? Master. Oh. Down on your knees, you dogs. Ah, oh, yes. The Americans. I remember you from the slave mart. It's a good thing you didn't kill them. He likes us. Because now I shall have the pleasure of killing you myself. And please be assured, I shall conceive an extremely painful death for both of you. Take them away. Hotchkiss, Jones. Nicole, so you finally got him. You came to get us out? No, I got myself in. What's the meaning of this? I thought these men were dead. They will be shortly. Take these swine away and see that nothing happens to them until they're supposed to. What are you doing here? Things are happening. I had to get her out of Algier. Very thoughtful of you to bring her to me. She's French intelligence. She's already turned in Joseph. How much she knows about us, I don't know yet. Well, it'll please me to find out. She'll live in what otherwise might have been a very dull evening. I'm afraid this evening you'll be busy with other things. A company of legionnaires is on the march to Fort Apar. If you expect to hold the fort, you better have your men there. I made other arrangements. Before we left, we mined the fort. My men are waiting impatiently at a hidden detonator for the reinforcements to arrive. Hamoud, you are a fool. Axman is using you. There is no way that you can win. You just be pretty and keep quiet. And don't try to do anything about what you've just heard. You're much too beautiful to die. Come with me. I'll see that you're dressed in something more attractive. This is a terrible way to die. Mister, can I tell you something? No. You'll be sorry if you don't listen. No. This may mean your life. No. All I'm trying to tell you is that I am not tied to the post. Kullu wahad yeji min huna wa shufu akbar musarat al Hassan. Dusu fi hadol al muhasanazir. What is he talking about? How do I know? I speak every language but Greek. But he's talking Arabic. It's still Greek to me. Ala balaja, ala baya, ala shoes, ala tulis. <laughs> what was that? They're off at Santa Anita. Oh, nonsense. Hot or cold, we're left at the post. <laughs> A reception committee for your American friends. That one, the tallest, is my cousin, Abdullah, for whom they've been looking. What a time for them to find him. Al-an, satu shahidun al-manzar, sayaqtulu hadran al-khanazir al-munhattin. Oh, gee, they're nice people. Just what'd you tell them? I said that Hamid's wrestlers will now tear you apart with their bare hands. You got something there. You, 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 oh! Oh, well, at least we've all got to die sometime. You've got nothing to worry about, though. You've lived a good, clean life. Yeah, but I'd like to live a little longer so I could dirty it up a little bit. Uh, I... Abdullah! Abdullah! Boy, are we glad to see you. Yeah, listen. We'll forget about the money you owe us if you tell him, Ood, not to have his wrestlers tear us apart. Swine, it'll be me who'll tear you apart. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't hurt you. But you said, you said, 
That was for the benefit of my dirty crook cousin, but we got to make the act look good. Hey, how about the Patterson routine? Okay. Okay. I want to save both of you. Hey, how about the Boston routine? You know where you go nuts? Yeah. Okay, give me the business. Okay. Ouch! <laughs> I'm blinded. I can't see. No, oh, you stupid ox. You've got the wrong one. He was doing a Boston routine. Well, let's get out of here. Come on. You guys got to help me get back to Brooklyn. We got to help you? Yeah. If I stay here, I have to marry the Sheik's daughter. And is she a dog? Take a look. What do you think? I think she's either a very ugly girl or a very pretty monster. Hey, we gotta help Bud. Quick, give me the business. Okay. Oh, we did it again. I'm blinded. I can't see. No, no, Abdullah. You've got the wrong one again. Abdullah's helping us. Abdullah's trying to kill us. Yes, but he's still helping us. Selfish. Oh. Somebody stop him. you arranged for the Americans. Come, this is our chance. Come on. Come on. What did you do there? All I did was... <laughs> is that all you did was... Yes, yeah, small. <laughs> Buddy, you're off a week. You ought to be like me. Eat some of these Arabian apples. Yeah, apples. Apples? Hmm. That's an onion. Chop, you fools! Catch those legionnaires! <laughs> this time they shan't escape me. I'll kill them both with my bare hands. I told you not to trust Abdullah. I'll slit his throat. Ah. And now, back to food. We must hide. The whole camp will be after us. Axman's jeep. Come on. Wow! 
Sheikh Abdullah. Don't bother me. Do you realize what I've done? I killed the best little pal I've ever had. He was such a sweet little guy. Look at, he's gone. I'll never be able to see him again if he was only here so I could get on my knees and apologize. I, go away. You know, I... Lou, Lou, it's you. You're not dead. No. You're not hurt. No. You're all right. Yeah. Why, you dirty double-crossed... You. Present arms. Citation for valor, for bravery in the face of the enemy, for unmasking and aiding in the capture of a renegade and traitor. For valiant service above and beyond the call of duty, you have earned this citation. What's she talking about? He's going to give you a citation. Citation? What do I want with a horse? What horse? Citation. That gives me another mouth to feed. Shit! Private Lou Hotchkiss. I decorate you. You will write me, won't you? <coughs> Here. And now, to ensure the continued honor and glory of the Foreign Legion, it is my pleasure to present you with your honorable discharges. There's a boat leaving for the States in 20 minutes. Be on it. Yes, yes sir. sir. Company, dismissed. Thank you, miss. Come on, Abdullah. Thank you for everything. Attention! For valiant service, I decorate you. Come on, hop in. If it's all the same to you, bud, you ride in the front. I ride in the trailer. Trailer? Yeah. What have you got in the trailer? Oh, just a few knickknacks that I picked up. I'm going to take them back home with me. All right. No! <laughs> knickknacks, eh? 